things you wouldn't hear on a cookery show. Sorry, uh, onions always make me cry um, because my mother was killed by an onion truck. <laughs> <laughs> It's had a lot of bad press recently, but I think I can change your mind with my recipe for bat a la orange. <laughs> <laughs> if you are going to Google this recipe, do be aware that uh, Coco Van does bring up a lot of dogging websites. <laughs> <laughs> this recipe was passed down to me by my great-grandmother, so it is a little bit racist. <laughs> <laughs> So last week I showed you how to knock up a chicken, this week I showed you how to impregnate a turkey. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nigella Lawson and I've run out of innuendo, so I'm just going to cook this curry with a tit out. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you can get these from the supermarket, but I prefer to grow my own Haribo. <laughs> Well, they're a very sad pair of dumplings, but uh, they're still hosting MasterChef. <laughs> <laughs> so there is shark fin soup. Ta-da! Sorry. Ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> now, in America, they call these eggplants, but in the UK, we simply call them chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Now we've put the pineapple on the pizza, all that's left is to slide it into the bin. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it a cereal? Is it seafood? Who cares? It's the world's most dangerous fusion food, sugar puffer fish. <laughs> <laughs> core two apples. <laughs> Sorry, core two apples. <laughs> So when my family came to England in the 60s, they very early on, they realised that all you need to do is package up any old shit, call it authentic, and white people will lap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my new pop-up restaurant where we just make toast. <laughs> and now I'm going to roast these carrots. Yeah, you wonky orange knobs. <laughs> So we just wait for that to rise for a minute, and if it doesn't, I'll pop another Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> it's another lockdown, see what that means? It's another series of Cooking Wild Pissed! <laughs> <laughs> Put an oven-ready meal in the microwave for too long. 